Hey everyone, welcome back to First Hand Globetrotting. One of the things I loved about visiting Melbourne, Australia was that I don't think I had a bad meal the entire time I was there. It's a fantastic food city, so you'll be able to find incredible food options nearly everywhere you go. You're not going to have any trouble finding great food, but what about if you want to try some Melbourne specialties? In this video, I'll tell you about a few foods that are unique to either Melbourne or Australia and that you should definitely try while you visit. The first is the Chinese-inspired snack food that was invented in Melbourne, dim sim. Not dim sum, dim sim. It's a big deep fried dumpling filled with minced meat, cabbage and some seasoning. But even though they're a snack food, they're actually pretty big and filling. You can usually find them in takeaway shops that sell fried foods and they aren't too expensive. My next recommendation may sound a little touristy, but when you're in Australia, you have to try some kangaroo. Because it's low fat and easy to overcook, people generally recommend you order it medium rare. I had it as a kangaroo burger and it was actually really tasty. It's got a gamey taste, but it's not an overwhelmingly strong flavor. Plus, it let me try another Australian thing, which is putting a slice of beetroot on a burger. You can find kangaroo in a bunch of different places, from inexpensive burger shops all the way up to fine dining restaurants. If you want to try an Australian snack, then you really can't go wrong with Tim Tams. A classic Tim Tam is made of two biscuits with chocolate cream filling between them, and then the whole thing is coated with even more chocolate. And if that's not enough for you, you can find them in a bunch of different flavors to try. If you need a sweet treat, you won't have much trouble finding Tim Tams. They had them in every grocery store or convenience store that I went into. The last thing I recommend you try is Vegemite. I'll be honest, a lot of you probably won't like it, it's definitely an acquired taste. It's a thick, dark brown spread that's usually put on toast or crackers. The best way I can describe it is a salty, yeasty, and multi flavor. Start off with only a little bit at first. It's got a very strong flavor, so a tiny bit goes a long way. The flavor of Vegemite can be a bit of a tough sell for non-Australians, but it's definitely something you should try at least once. So that's it, the foods you should sample when you visit Melbourne. One of them is a Melbourne specialty, and the other three are unique Australian foods that are definitely worth a try. You should be able to find the Tim Tams and Vegemite at any grocery store in Melbourne, and there'll be plenty of options for Dim Sim and Kangaroo near Melbourne Central Business District. They're all things you can have as a quick lunch or snack when exploring the city before you sit down to a full meal at all the amazing restaurants in Melbourne. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. On Instagram, I'm First Hand Globe Trotting. On Twitter, I'm First Hand Globe. Follow me on there. And don't forget, it's an incredible world out there, so pick up your passport and do some first hand globe trotting of your own.